Okay. Okay. I think I'm I'm alive. Pe people people Okay, there we go. <laughs> people usually take a few minutes to filter in, so we're just gonna let our intro cutscene play as we go. I'm trying something slightly different today to see if it fixes the audio issue TM. And what I'm trying different is literally just wired headphones. They're, uh... Well, oh god, I don't even remember distinctly where I got these from, but I've had them a very long time. The only issue is they're over-the-ear head, 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 ear headphones, and I think those, uh, tend to be a bit headache-inducing, frankly. I'm gonna try some wired options and see if the wireless thing in Bluetooth is what was causing my problem. Um, yeah, that's, that's about that. Aside from that, um, y'all know where we are at the point in the game that we're going to. It wasn't good last week. <laughs> at least not for Ike. Hmm. I am in a slightly different environment, so I'm just gonna finagle settings just a tad, but I think we're good. Otherwise, I'm just go plop de plop. Yeah. Here we go. Like, is there a way... There's some video game characters that are always just wearing these, like, around their necks as an accessory. Lord, I wish it was comfortable to stuff these, like, around my neck. Because, ugh, they are so uncomfortable over your head, man. I know not a single pair of over-the-ear headphones that I've worn that haven't been- that have been actually comfortable. Hello! Welcome! Uh, if you couldn't tell from my mumbling about over-the-ear headphones, we're trying something wired today. And by wired, I mean, uh, good old-fashioned Beats. You remember Beats, right, chat? You know, before Apple bought them and now they, like, never advertise them anymore? Uh... I'm pretty sure I won these at, like, the school fashion show or something at one point. I don't remember in high school. I've had them a very long time. But they are reliable. And I'm gonna try wired headphones to see if they don't cut out in the middle of the gaming session. Ah, yes. Despair and hope. You have rebooted your workstation three times today. Oof. That just sounds like pain. Mmm. Okay, there is a potential new unit on this map. Let's see if my brain fog is capable of recruiting them today. You're glad to hear I didn't pay money for these. Beats are like $20 machines with $500 marketing. I'm only trying them out today because they have a wire. Uh, because I think Bluetooth settings were what was causing my issues previously. And I haven't quite figured out what that issue is with the earbuds I have. So I gotta finagle that before I'm using them again. So I was like, what do I have that's wired? And I looked at my desk and I was like, oh yeah, I've had these beats a while. You're in a 100 to 101 degree figure haze. Oof, I'm sorry. That sucks like a zone. I have been dealing with headaches from the dryness, and that is how my week has been going with the weather. It's so dry. It's miserable. I've got the humidifier going 24-7. What's wrong, Ike? Done already? Come on, son. You'll never beat me with that attitude. He's trying. <laughs> Think you're as stubborn as your mule-headed father. Ike, 
Grow up big and strong. I believe you've got the makings of a great warrior. Oh, right, Dad died. Yeah, um, unfortunately, again, really beautiful illustrations in this game. We lost our father. Father, this isn't a dream, is it? This, this is all real. You're waiting for your boy. Oh, right, you bought a plushie to come in the mail, as well as a lube for your keyboard. <laughs> your headphones are Corsairs. They're average in terms of comfort. If I were to get over the ears headphones again, they'd need to be like 100% comfortable, is the thing. Yeah, no, I understand. I was not a happy camper when I got my booster shot, but hey, keeps you healthy in the long run, right? Mist, the sun's going down, and it's getting cold. Come on, let's go. Mist? Oh, oh, ache. Mist. Why? I was at his side, but I'm sorry. I couldn't save him. It's... it's so unreal. It's gone. He's gone, Ike. And I... I don't... I don't know what to do. I don't think any of us know what we're gonna do now. Don't worry. I'm here. Brother... I'll lead the company in Father's stead. And I'll protect you all. You, the princess, everyone. I'll protect you. You'll see. No. Father, I... No. Mist? I won't allow it. I can't lose you. Don't you see? If I go, then I'll be... If you go, sorry. If you go, then I'll be all alone. I won't allow... Oh, nope. That's her. Still. Oh, yeah. I can read today. Well... Mist's opinion is rather similar to Grail's that we really should just stop fighting right now. How? In bed all weekend with a migraine. Yeah, the shot can get you real good. I won't allow it. I'm not going anywhere. I promise you, Mist. Yeah, but are we gonna follow Dad's request and stay in Gallia and live in peace, or <coughs> are we gonna go take out Dane or something? I guess you could say she missed the point. This would probably hurt a lot worse if we'd already lost numerous units. Listen, I'm sorry. I tried to play carefully, and I haven't been punished when I haven't been playing carefully. Uh, thank you to R and Jesus for that, really. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of cutscenes in this game that are edited based off of if you have lost a lot of units. I, I do think there's something about this that hurts worse because we haven't. It's kind of like a blow out of nowhere to a company that was doing so well before now, you know? Commander Grail... Why is this happening? Why is any of this happening? Why now? First Crimea, and now you. Ike? Oh, Ike! Where's Mist? She's resting in her room. Reese and Ralph are with her. That's good. She needs to sleep. She's been through too much. We all have. 
Good thing we haven't lost any before now. Um, even if they're not edited, a lot of the writing seems specifically engineered to hit different whether or not you've suffered losses. Again, it's one of the few games in the series that does that outside of, like, I think New Mystery of the Emblem also has Marth comment on how many losses you've had in the war. But it's definitely the one where it feels like they put the more th most thoughtful effort into making all the units kind of matter and also into making you feel different based on how you've played. Um, I imagine if we went back on a second playthrough as like an Iron Man or something, it would hit a lot different if we lost Oscar and then had scenes with just like Rolf and Boyd. You should rest too, Ike. I'll be alright. Grief won't bring my father back to life. Ike, Ike, you gotta deal with those emotions, Ike. You can't just bottle them up. I know I've been a burden on the both of you. Tanya, Soren, I just need to thank both of you for staying here with me. I sense that they're trying to make this group feel more like a scrappy band of mercenaries and less like a well-oiled army. I feel like you lose some of that in Radiant Dawn, because the sequel to this game very much in most of its parts has such a big cast that you can't really do that anymore unfortunately not at all there's no need don't trouble yourself so where is everyone ike to tell the truth yes Boyd and I are back. How did it go? I can't believe it. They just left and they didn't take one look back. Heartless scum. I'll never forgive them. Uh, depending on the era of the Middle Ages, there could be very little difference. Uh, in Awakening, for example, the characters are really likable but a little bit expendable. I mean... Yeah, a lot of Fire Emblem tends to be sent not specifically, like, heart of the Middle Ages. You get periods all throughout what feels like a range of history, honestly. And not all of them are exactly equivalent or close to the real world. There's a lot more high fantasy that tends to be a bit vaguer. You admit you've been playing too much KH and the word heartless perked your ears up more than it should have. Oh my god. Um, yeah, so if you were wondering why at the end of last chapter I purposefully picked through, uh, certain characters' items before Grail died and took them for the rest of the army, here's why. Boyd? What's going on? Ike, you alright? I'm I'm fine. Tell me what's happened. Start talking. Well, uh, it's, uh, well, what I mean to say is, uh, Shannon and Gaytree have left us. Soren! What? There's nothing to hide, is there? Yeah. Bees, heartless, dark, heartness, gunship, dark bees. So, uh, if you're wondering why earlier in the playthrough I said, Hey, maybe don't give all your EXP in one basket to Shinon and Gaytree, and why I took a lot of their items off of them at the end of last map. We have lost a portion of our mercenary group. They're just gone. Yeah, they fucking leave. Grail's gone. He's the one they were here for. They don't trust Ike. I don't necessarily blame them, though I admit Shinon is an ass. And they left. They left? Both of them? When did they? Oh, I see. They left because of me, didn't they? Like... Titania told us you were gonna be the new commander. Shinon just about exploded. And he and Gaytree left not long ago. We went after them. We tried to talk things out, but it was a waste of time. 
Oh god, where's that fucking prosy D video where he accidentally put all the best items on Archibald? Yep, that's the mood. Gay true mi was missed. So was shit. Gay tree will be missed. So will Shinon's crits, but mostly gay tree. It's actually a pretty big blow to our strategy at this point in the game. We still have Titania to face tank some stuff for us if we need, but Shinon specifically could draw fire away from other long ranged units and take some hits. And Gaytree was our tank. He was the one with the high defense who you could plop in to block off areas and rely on to take care of things. They're both gone. The two most experienced members of this group outside of Titania are gone. Yeah. <laughs> we all knew this that Ike was going to inherit the company, didn't we? It just happened sooner than we wanted. It was Grail's decision. If some of us aren't satisfied with that, well, there's no reason we should stop them from leaving. As far as losing strength is concerned, we can solve that by adding new members. Man, Soren, you are shockingly optimistic about all this. Then again, I'm pretty sure he hated Shinon, and I don't blame him. You actually love this development. Plot-wise, gameplay-wise, brilliant. Yeah, they're talking about actually getting you to use a wider variety of units. Um, also, I think this game has been good so far about having you use a wide variety of units anyway, frankly. Soren was literally like, fuck those guys, good, good riddance, seriously. We need to do some more recruiting. We need some new allies before we can do much of anything. We could really use an armor knight. Um, or someone else with high defense outside of, you know, Oscar and Titania. And Oscar is an asterisk. His isn't that high. Um, like, we, we don't have that varied of a composition anymore. Um, they didn't take our healer, at least. But it definitely feels like this game is designed in such a way that they kind of carefully set you up so that you have to use a wider variety of units. Like at the start, even if you're like me and you've played this game before, you know Shinon and Gaytree are going to leave. It would behoove you to still use Shinon and Gaytree. This isn't like a Pokemon game where you set up one party and take them through the whole way. The Tellius games in particular... And I won't tell you why with Radiant Dawn, it's quite fun in its own way. Get you to have these very varied groups through developments like this. And especially throughout the early game, you're pressured to use the whole army because you don't have much of an option otherwise. Like, what are you going to do? Not use Shinon? Force Titania to handle everything? Because some things can kill her. Maybe the delightful furries will want to help. Probably. The Lagoos seem nice. How can you say that? After all the battles we've been through together, how can you say that? Forgive me, Ike. I, I wasn't able to stop any of this. It's not your fault, Titania. They did what they felt they had to do. They didn't want to lose their lives for an inexperienced commander. Yeah, that is probably Gaytree's logic more so than Shinon's. But I don't blame him, necessarily. This would hit different if we'd lost units. So far, we've been a bit of a prodigy, honestly. Um, but, like, how do they know that this, like, I'm pretty sure Ike is, like, 18. 18-year-old 18 kid's gonna lead them into battle safely. He looks about it. <laughs> That would be a fair point if they I had done, you know, anything wrong. Again, this would hit different if we had, like, lost Oscar. Ike, don't talk about yourself like that. I'm not saying that to gain anyone's pity. It's the truth. But even so, I have no intention of giving up command of this company. Ike? Uh, then what will you... I'm going to follow my father's wishes. I'm going to assume command. If everyone will accept me, that's what I'd like to do. Of course. Ugh, I had already made up my mind. That's what I was going to do all along. What? So now you want me to start calling you boss? Is that it? 
Well, I can do that. Boss it is. I imagine he, like, heartily pats Ike on the back when he says that. Titania is literally a rock for this group at this point. It's not her fault the other two decided to leave. No, Titania has done nothing wrong. She's been an incredible unit and will continue to be for the rest of the game. She is fantastic in terms of supporting other characters and kind of like the matriarchal role of the group. Like, she's fine. I'm in too. Reese. I missed Cicely. I know I missed most of the conversation, but I have a good idea of what you're discussing. Commander I. Yes, it does have a nice ring to it. What about you, Soren? I mean, do you have to ask? <laughs> it's Soren, man. Reese is Prince Baby. <laughs> and Titania's mom friend. I mean, yeah. Ike. I'm not sure what help I could be to you. No, no, you do not say that about yourself. We are going to feed you XP until you are a magic nuke. Just so you believe in yourself. Because I will be a very sad person otherwise. How dare you? You do not get to shit on yourself here. Stop that. What place is there for me in a mercenary company, anyway? You're so weird. I've always depended on you, haven't I? I need your tactical knowledge. I need your objectivity. You're not going to leave me, are you, Soren? Don't worry. I'll be here, watching over you. Thank you. I know I'm not as experienced as most of you. I'm gonna make some mistakes, but I'll try not to let you down. Oh. <laughs> I mean, he did kind of literally say that, didn't he? <laughs> well, you're going to have a lot to learn about being commander. I'm glad you're serious, because it's a lot of work. Tell me everything. First, you'll need to understand company expenditures. Then we'll talk about ensuring that everyone is properly outfitted. Oh, is it this chapter that we unlock shops and armories? Uh, fun fact, there was a glitch in the Japanese version of these games that let you get a weapon with, like, 102% critical from the forge. Sadly, not in this version. <laughs> but funny. There haven't been any shops yet? No. Uh, there's a reason the Tellius games are considered so hard. Part of it is, um, we're on chapter 8. And we are finally getting our first access to potential weapons that aren't dropped off of dead enemies or given from villages. You could really screw yourself over if you're not careful with weapon usage until this point. That's so cool because he's not actually in control or responsible for that. No, we're re entirely relying off of what our enemies drop. Oh god, we're really a ragtag group at that point. And we can't forget the need to gather good intelligence. Oh, and you'll want to know everyone's abilities and relationships! Is it support time? Oh, it's a great chapter. Uh-huh. I mean, we lost Dad, which really sucks, but, like, also... Support conversations! <laughs> we're a bunch of gremlins robbing the corpses of our enemies. Our strategy this playthrough is goblin. We only use items that drop off of dead enemies. <laughs> We're literally murder hobos in every sense of the word at that point. <laughs> uh huh. Earlier I spoke with a mer merchant caravan that's taken refuge here in the castle. They fled Crimea at the same time we did. I told them who we are and they asked if they could travel with us. I think they're worried about protection from Dane. In exchange, they've offered us a good rate on items and weapons. They'll also buy items and forge weapons for us. Uh, huh. Early medieval knight, leader with armor and a stick with five to ten gremlins with sticks. You're gonna, uh, stream an all-bidoof run soon. Goblin is your specialty. That reminds me. 
I was thinking of doing some extra Pokemon streams because I got Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl for Christmas and it might be fun to let you guys name the Pokemon and just like chill out on a Thursday or a Sunday or something. Would you be interested in that kind of thing? <laughs> they also said we could use their wagons to store our goods. That's one more worry off our minds. Yes, also, for those of you who've played other Fire Emblem games like Awakening or Fates, it's not until this chapter that we unlock the convoy. If you're wondering why I've had several incidences of, oh fuck, my weapon storage is full, what am I dropping? There was no convoy before this. You're down, but are you sure you want my garbage nicknames? Listen. I wholeheartedly expect that almost every playable character I make will be named Beef. Like, if we stream Awakening at some point, Robin's gonna be Beef. <laughs> so, yes, I am down for it. I want my food named Pokemon from you, chat. Uh huh. So, anyway, Titania, yes? I know I said tell me everything, but this is too much. I can't keep up. <laughs> I think we got it. Maybe I should learn, shouldn't learn everything in one sitting. Can you show me the ropes along the way? Is that all right? Oh, yes, of course. Sorry, I got but a bit carried away. I'll take over for now. Why don't you get some rest? I'm all right. You worry too much. Get some rest. That's an order. I'll do my best to manage. Yes, Commander. Oh my god, we have so much stuff we can do. We can save our game. We have support conversations. We only have unlocked between Oscar and Sor and Oscar and Ike so far. Um, your conversations in this game, I believe, are based entirely off of maps that you share together, more so than spaces you share together. I know what supports I want to do. We are again limited to only five <laughs> per each unit, unfortunately. So you can get one A support and one B support. Sadly. I know, it's kind of obnoxious. Um, big mood from Ike. Also, chat, would we like to hear awful Pokemon names? Star Platinum or Crazy Diamond as a JoJo's name? Oh my god. Yeah, um... Do we want to do Ike and Oscar and Ike and Sorin? Because I don't really know if I'm going to use Oscar the whole playthrough. And I want to do Ike Sorin because I'm, I'm biased. That's why. Um, we also get info conversations. And info conversations can give you a lot of conversations with a lot of other people. That fortunately... Okay, so look, quick chat. Radiant Dawn inexplicably doesn't have support conversations. I think it's just because they didn't have time during the development. Um, Path of Radiance has some of the best supports in the series, but they both have extra info conversations. I love info conversations. <laughs> they are like some of my favorite things in the whole franchise because they give you a little extra exposition, they can give you items, I believe there's something about the star system that can tell you what they do. Like, one star is info. I think three stars is, like, units. And two stars might be the one that gives you items. I think that's what it is. Because you can get units out of info conversations. Don't ignore these. You have Bootleg the Voltorb. Why did you name it that? <laughs> so let's talk to the merchants. Ah, ah, I mean, um, <laughs> she's, she's a person. 
She's a, an individual. Who's gonna tell her? <laughs> oh, he's a bootleg Pokeball. I get it. Well, hello. You must be the young commander I've heard so much about. My, and you are a young one, aren't you? And you must be from the merchant caravan Titania told me about? The one that asked to travel with us. And there's Mustan? Mustan? I think it's it's Mustan, like Gaston, with the ton at the end, right? It's gotta be. Uh, it's Ike from that hit Nintendo Switch game, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Yes, exactly. That one. He fights for his friends. You would like to roll a sense motive on her. Ah. Uh, <laughs> if you'll offer us protection, we'll supply you the precisions you require. At a reasonable price, of course. What do you say? It's for the greater good of us all, wouldn't you agree? Us all? Why did I say that with that intonation? Well, it is a sound proposition. Yes. Then we have an agreement. I'm the weapon merchant, Mustang. I'll be sure to stock the weapons you prefer. And I am Aimee, a vendor of various goods. Aimee, do you sell poison? That sounds like something someone who sells poison would say. Uh, also, welcome, Dan. <laughs> Good to see you in chat today. We're, we're hanging out. Ah, there he is, George. <laughs> yes, they pronounced it that way in the video. I don't know why. <laughs> George over here. Um, George specifically, not not his brother. <laughs> Aw, Dan, thank you for the Prime subscription. Oh my god, my voice just cracked. I need water. <laughs> I hope you enjoy the emotes. We got a bunch of new ones recently, thanks to Dusty. Please follow her if you don't. Yoink, these emotes are now mine. They are. Ah, yes, I am hydrating, I promise. This game is a lot of talking. <laughs> so George was memed into Fire Emblem Heroes. Like, some guy in Japan made a couple thousand bot accounts and voted for him, and I assume the devs thought it was funny because they added him to the game. <laughs> He's not even playable, man. He's just a merchant dude, but someone in, someone in Japan really likes George. <laughs> You're waiting for yours to be approved. Oh god, that's terrifying. You two are partaking in the H2O. It's so dry out. Like, my voice. Oh, my whole house is dry. You would do that as a div. I would too. I don't blame him on that. Huh. The name's George. I buy things. Anything, really. You got any weapons or items you don't need? Bring them to me. My name's Daniel. I'm a craftsman. I specialize in made-to-order items. Ah, there's one last item to cover. If you'd like, we can also act as a storage warehouse of sorts, carrying your extra things. What do you think? That would be fantastic. We recently left our stronghold, and I was afraid we'd have to carry our goods ourselves. I'm happy to take you up on your offer. Very good. Well then, may our enterprise be profitable for us all. Hopefully we all survived. So is George the protagonist of this game. Yeah, according to that one dev, I guess so. <laughs> Ah, uh, God, they're gonna do a Choose Your Legends again this year. Um. I am Salty Crom fan number 57 over here, so my opinion on those should be kind of obvious right now. Not that I have an issue with Gatekeeper. Gatekeeper's fun. I just like Kimbo's. <laughs> Everyone vote George. Oh god, I've created a monster. George, next unit in Heroes. He's already in Heroes! <laughs> he is! Make him a super secret character you can only unlock with a ludicrous New Game Plus cheat code. 
There are super secret characters you can only unlock with very specific conditions on New Game Plus. I'm not kidding. It's ridiculous. <laughs> and extra super secret cutscenes revealing immense lore that you can only get on New Game Plus. Unknown. Let's go see if we get murdered in the woods chat. Summer Alt Mantini George. I mean, we did get Summer Lorenz. Not, not war era Summer Lorenz. School era Summer Lorenz with that haircut in a Speedo. We need Christmas New Year Anna. We have New Year Anna. We got New Year Anna. Look it up. Um, you're still disappointed at the lack of Santa Claude. Look it up. I'm positive there was a New Year's Anna alt, was there not? They did all the Asker people, did they? Didn't they? Hold on, I'm looking this up. New Year Anna Fire Emblem Heroes. Yep. <laughs> to runs to Google. Well, congratulations, Dan. There's a variety of images of her for you. <laughs> I did make an NPC, NPC for my Fire Emblem campaign that was Nikolaus of Nicola, Niflheim, which was the Fire Emblem Santa. <laughs> um, and uh, I want Santa Claude for the meme. <laughs> Just because it sounds like Santa Claus. <laughs> I hear someone. Is it coming from over there? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I'm gonna be sad. Uh, why? Grail, why? Why you? Why did you have to? Why? Well, I feel really bad now. <laughs> I'm glad you guys like it. Well, um, <laughs> I get the feeling all of these are gonna be kind of sad, aren't they? Hey, Rolf. How are you handling this? What's going on, Rolf? Oh, Ike, if you're wondering about Mist, she just fell asleep. Really? Sorry, I didn't mean to disturb you, Rolf. It's all right. I don't mind. Because he's a good dad in a Fire Emblem game and we can't have that. Good dads aren't allowed to survive in these games. They gotta die. The bad dads usually die too, let's be honest. If you're a father, it's not looking good for you, really. <laughs> I was gonna make a joke about awakening and Crom, but then I realized, no, that's wrong. <laughs> Redacted from Echoes lasts a while. Um. <laughs> Does that count as a good dad, though? <laughs> Oh, God. Titania so far is the most developed character. Not that the others aren't. She's just the most. Yeah, she's got, like, a well-developed backstory written into the plot and a lot of other things. It's alright. I don't mind. It's getting late. You should get yourself to bed. I will, but... Um... What is it? Mist is just fine. Huh? Huh? You're here, Ike, so she's fine. I mean, she's going to be just fine. Huh? That's all. Well, good night. Your favorite father's media is still kicking. Your standards for anime parents are rock bottom. I know. Um, hmm. I think that... Grail is probably the best father in this series outside of Hector. Hector's a good dad, as is Ellie would. Yeah. 
I like those two. Your second favorite was fucking murdered, though. I mean, most good dads die for some reason. <laughs> Rolf, thank you. Rolf's taking it like a champ. Titania, not so much. How's Boyd doing? Hey, working already, Ike? If you need any help, you just let me know. Boyd, how do you feel about this? Uh, about what? About me being the new commander. Before, you hated the idea, right? So I want to know the truth. Will you really take orders from me? Well, I know what you can do and what you can't. I know I don't know if I want you to be in charge if things get really dangerous. But on the other hand, this is what Commander Grail wanted. He had a lot of faith in you, and I've got faith in him. Huh. The Commander hired both Oscar and me. When our dad died, I was the one who had to care for baby Rolf. I had no clue what I was supposed to do. Oscar received his discharge from military service and came home, but life was hard. That's when Commander Grail found us. He gave us a job, a face to sleep, food on our plates. He gave us our lives back. Boyd, you've worked off any debt you may have owed to him, and you don't have any obligation to me. This isn't about obligations anymore. Commander Grail always said we were part of one big family, didn't he? I'll do anything to protect my family. That's why you can always count on me. Oh, Boyd. Boyd, I love you. Third favorite is voiced by Robbie Damon. Is it redacted? You know, from redacted, redacted with the sparkles. <laughs> Fuck yeah, found family. <laughs> Oh, Boyd. <laughs> yeah, Boyd's been getting pretty decent level ups. I'm probably going to keep using him. I see. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. But don't you ever try to hold us at arm's length. You got that? Don't worry about that. I'm going to work you to the bone. Oh, really? I'll take whatever you can dish out. Try me. All right, then. How how's Reese handling this? Reese? Ike. What were you doing? I was praying. For my father? Yes. You see, the commander, he... He... Reese. I'm sorry. I know this must be so much harder on you. Forgive me. A long time ago, my father told me a story. <laughs> they spent the first season hating in each other despite having paper-thin disguises. Yes, I know who you mean. <laughs> it was about the dead. He said the more tears we shed, the more blessings they receive in the hereafter. I envy you, Reese. For some reason, I can't seem to cry at all. Nah, it's okay, Ike. I can never cry at funerals, so I can relate. Reese, if you could, shed a tear for me too, I'd be grateful. I, I would be honored. Thanks, Reese. Thanks for caring so much about my father. Oh. Everyone processes grief differently. Yeah, it's okay, Ike. You don't have to cry. It doesn't mean you didn't love your dad. Oh, so now we get to see one of the coolest things about this game. Award EXP. We get bonus EXP for clearing maps in certain ways, under certain turn counts, and on escape maps if you, re if you get everyone to escape before Ike. You can put that out to units as you want, I don't think in Path of Radiance it gives you a set amount of stat-ups, but in Radiant Dawn, it gives you a guaranteed at least three stats on level up. It's really good. 
Ike must express his grief through action. Yeah, no, he, he can do whatever he needs to. So, um, oh my god, our mercenary unit is really small. Oh god, look at us. We've got, we've got, we've got, at least we got Mia, I guess. Oh no. Mia's really not the type of unit I personally like playing with, though. Am I gonna feed EX- Oh my god, we have bonus EXP. Holy shit. Um, look at- Look at how much we have. 1,330? I didn't think I was playing that well. I guess we probably got bonus for killing the boss on chapter uh, 5 or 6. Jesus Christ. Shoves all the EXP on sword. He doesn't need all of it, but... Let's give him at least one level up. Yes, I am being very exact about this. What about it? Let's see how he does. Why are you building yourself like like a healer, Soren? Okay. Paladin level three. Ranger, Ike's actually pretty good. Boyd's a little under. Reese. And... <sighs> giving at least another level to Soren. Because we have the XP to allow it. What doesn't bode for Reese that he's level 7? I mean, most of my units are level 7 or 6. I've dumped a lot of EXP in Ike. Let's see. Bonus EXP. Here you go, Soren. Eat up. Ooh! Ooh! That was a good one! That was a really good level up. Oh, hell yeah. You meant Soren building himself as a healer. Uh, pro tip, use more than one. <laughs> like, if you have multiple staff users who both can deal a lot of magic damage as promoted units, oh, you're gonna be a happy camper. boy -o. I'll be an edgy healer. We can also make Soren a knife mage, but he has zero strength. <laughs> I think I'm gonna get him to level 8, and then contemplate other bonus EXP gains from there. Because I like Soren. I want to use Soren. And he's kind of hard to get experience to on the field. So we'll give him 100. Let's see. Knife Mage is something you would personally be. Luck and skill, not great. Hmm. Who else really needs it right now? Mia's new. She's kind of lower level, but the thing is, I don't know if I'm gonna have her the whole playthrough. Or not have her. I'm not gonna kill her, but I don't know if I'm gonna specifically use her. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. The real question is who are we using the Speedwing and the Seraph robe on? And the Ashira icon. Speed, luck. And who do we want to give Miracle to? Or do we want to hold on to that for now? I'm going to plop Miracle into the convoy. We have plenty of room in the convoy. We've only got three items in there? What items do they give you automatically? Oh, they do give you <laughs> Shunan's weapons, rather. 
The word Myrmidon sets off alarm bells. I'm sorry. Benched got ya. I don't know. Oh, wait. You mean, uh, Mia. I don't- I don't know about Mia. I don't usually use Mia. That's my assessment. Not that I'm gonna take her swords away or anything, but... Mm. I think I want to put away the short spear for later and just give in. This is the one problem with streaming Fire Emblem, that half of it is just this setup same screen. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's fine. Chest key. Oh, that's good. You have a hand axe? Give that to Boyd, so that Boyd can have a hand axe. Mm. I might buy Reese another heal staff. The only reason I'm not really giving Reese the XP right now is because he tends to get a lot of EXP. Uh, shop. Armory. We have 7,500 gold. Oh, right. I keep forgetting that the shop has heals. Uh, pure water. It does the same thing as our ward staff, but it's just an item. So that's kind of nice. She's a mere Mia Dawn. Oh my god. Thank you. We're gonna pick up a heal staff. Give it to Reese. I don't think there's any chests I need to open on this map. If I'm wrong, we can always come back here and bring out our items. I want to save the poleaxe. There is a reason that I took the poleaxe, and honestly, it's mostly to deal with some later bosses. <laughs> I know that might sound weird, but let's see. Who needs the vulnerabilities the most you've got? Uh, three, three, here. You need one, and Oscar could use one. I'm still not sure who I want to give these stat boosters to. So I think I'm going to put them in the convoy so they're safe for now. And then we'll contemplate that when I have more brain cells available. What do I want to do with the armor slayer? It would definitely slow down Mia. Mia's best with the slim sword. She's fine on vulnerabilities. I think she'll be able to take care of herself okay on this map. Mm. Also for the record, no shade to people that like using Mia. Everyone plays these games differently. And it's useful to have her as a unit, even if I find her kind of challenging to use, because she's a bit squishy, really. Like, 7 defense and only 21 HP, whereas my Ike has 9 defense and 9 more HP than her. It's not that much of a difference, but it is, like a round or two more of combat with most units of survival, which can be a use case scenario. Can she promote into anything useful? She can be a sword master, and those are good. They're not the best for the way I tend to play, but they are good. <coughs> oh my god, I'm sorry. I mean, we can always take her out on a few maps, because it's not like we have that big of an army anyway. We don't have a choice but to use everyone. And that does kind of force us to see how people level up, and 
If she gets some really good level ups, then she will not be benched. I'm not taking her items away or anything. But I also don't think she could use the Armor Slayer very well. I think Ike could. But Ike still has his Regal Sword, so I think it's going into the convoy for now. Do we want to get Soren another tome? I think he's okay for the map. Again, if we look at the map and go, oh, I fucked up, we can reload our save and just fix things. We're not in an Iron Man run, you know? Can I just sell Oscar's old... <clears throat> sell items. Uh, Oscar's old lance, because it's about to break. Not a lot of gold, but I'll take it. Because we have a... Uh... I've made a mistake. I hate that that option is right next to Convoy. Take, okay. Well, I guess we're specifically outfitting Oscar today. We'll give you an iron, a steel, and a javelin, and bullnery. Oh, you had two. That's fine. Okay. Don't hit the, the give all item. You have two iron axes. One's gonna break soon, but the other one's fine, so we can use that. Steel axe is good. Your steel axe is kind of not the best. How expensive would it be to buy you an iron axe? 270? That's cheap as hell. Or do we want to give her- no, I think we're just gonna give her an iron axe. Yeah. Here you go. That's fine. Funny mage sword. <laughs> Fire emblem is particularly dangerous space to be a glass cannon given nobody- one lucky miss, and you're literally in the ground. Yeah, that's the problem with Mia. One of the games where the shops won't ask awkward questions about where you got all this stuff. Oh, I mean, it's a war. There are merchant following mercenaries around. They know we got some of this crap off of dead bodies, and they don't care. Uh, all of these are good items, but I don't think we necessarily need any. How good is Thunder? I mean, it's got a higher crit chance, but it misses more often. I think I'm just gonna stick with what Soren has now, for now. Yeah, I, 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 I think we're good. Do we want to take the hammer? And you have still have uses on your iron sword, iron blade, steel sword. It's good. Regal sword, I've used a bit much but it's fine and we have convoy yeah okay i don't want to jump right into ike and oscars because i'm not sure if i want to do somebody else's support with ike there we go we can save at our base now saving across all my save file slots like a heathen uh also welcome e4c i just <laughs> realized that's Meanwhile, Joker. <laughs> EY at Joker, why do you have 400 bloodstained cloud costumes? <laughs> Basically. Oh, wait, you do you mean Joker or Joker? Or the Joker? Those are two very different people, but both of them could come into a shop with clown costumes, and I wouldn't question where they got them. <laughs> uh. Do we want to have Rorty XP or skills? Uh, I don't think Ike needs Miracle. So you can see that everyone has skills. The one really good thing Mia has that can help her with her weakness compared to Ike in terms of her defense being an issue is the Vantage thing. That is pretty good. I, I guess we'll see how she levels up the next few maps. It's not like I'm gonna ignore her completely. Do we want to award any more of our thousand bonus EXP? I think I'll give a level to Boyd. And then I think I'm good. For now.
uh, Akiren, aka Joker. But the other Joker would also make sense. You're playing KH3D right now, and golly, on paper, it should be your favorite in the series, but there's a strong candidate for your least favorite. You can talk about it more elsewhere, but it's bumming you out. I'm sorry. I don't really have a problem with KH3D. I kind of enjoyed it, aside from how ridiculous the story gets in that entry. That boy is a theater kid. Okay, you're right. Joker is theater boy. Having been a theater kid, I can confirm that he is one of us. <laughs> Alright, uh, god, we've been in this place for an hour. I think it's time to try the map out. Alright, let's give it a shot, chat. We That also means that thankfully we can end streams in a base and not have to restart the chapter again. Oh, I like the animation of the rain pouring through the castle windows. That is a really nice touch. Especially considering that the Wii does not have the processing power to do a lot. Having details like that is cool. M the Wii. This came out on the GameCube. What am I even saying? <laughs> That's part of it. This is Pete KH being up its own ass with terms of how clever it thinks it is. Yep. Uh, personally, I don't mind the movement in that game, but it was the one where the story started to go off the rails a lot. I know that's weird, because KH has always been weird, but 3D is the one where they add essentially a Time Lord. <laughs> so. You're an unofficial theater kid. You were never in production, but all your friends were theater kids. Hey, it counts. Good morning, Ike. How are things going? Does everything look good? Titania, did you get enough rest? Enough as could be expected, given everything that's going on. But now we've got some business to deal with. First, we need some new recruits. Oh, but our audience with King Gallia comes first. Any word from the palace? No, nothing yet. According to the Lagoos who brought our food, we should be receiving word sometime soon, but... Ike, I've got bad news. Look out the window. Oh, great, it's Dane. Yeah, maybe we're taking out the Armor Slayers. <laughs> Mia, Mia, how do you feel about Armor Slayers? Because we're going to need that. GameCube didn't have a lot of processing power, but damn, the devs did a lot with what they have. The GameCube was not the most powerful machine of its gen, but that's not <laughs> saying much. To be fair, a lot of the games of this era are really good. <laughs> if I'm not imagining things, that's a squad of Dane's soldiers. Why do they have to show up now? What gives? We're inside Gallia's borders, aren't we? They must be out of their minds to pursue us this far. Yeah, this is, uh... Boyd... This seems like the start of an act of war against Gallia. To be fair, Dane and Crimea are nations of similar size where Crimea had a smaller standing army. Gallia is a big fucking country full of lagoos. And the lagoos could probably, like, rip your heart out and kill your horse at the same time. <laughs> you know? No wonder it had the most stable sonic forks. What let it down was mini discs and less than stellar third party support. Mm. It was the most powerful. Its failure was uh, the reason Nintendo consoles have been underpowered since. That's sad. <laughs> Sincerely, someone who had to play Sonic games on PlayStation. Damn. If they came this far, I'm sure getting out of here alive was never one of their priorities. We're in trouble. They have us completely surrounded. We cannot escape. So many of them and so few of us. It doesn't look good, does it? Doesn't matter. We have to fight. Grail mercenaries, ready ourselves. Yes, sir. I'll begin formulating a strategy immediately. Ike, brother. Mist, I want you and Rolf to go in the back and hide. But Ike, just do it now. Everything will be fine, but I need you to do this, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Be careful. Ah, it's happening.
pink again. My medallion's glowing. Ooh. There goes the MacGuffin again with the mysterious blue glow. Sonic 06 might have been a major part of your childhood because the PS2 was your dad's own. <laughs> I very distinctly remember hearing horror stories about the performance issues with Sonic Hero and Shadow and being like, what performance issues? This is fine. Textbook GameCube privilege. Honestly, my friend had a GameCube. I did not. I had a Wii. So any GameCube titles I've played, I've played through the Wii. Um, and I didn't get the Wii until after I had a PS2 as a kid. So, yeah. Ah, uh, yes, redacted medallion. Oh, God. <laughs> Wait, what? What What? What console were you playing Sonic 06 on again? Hmm. That's mysterious. That bodes. Mother, father, if you can hear me, please watch over Ike. Please. Will you protect him? I like that the rain doesn't go all the way to the edge of the map. Oh, Lord. Here we go. Okay. All right, everyone. Are you ready? Grail mercenaries, move out. Okay. We definitely want people with armor slayers around. Steel lance, iron sword. Also, you may notice something here. What's this? An enemy with a character portrait. And a unique ability. And a name. And who's adorable, honestly. <laughs> this is Ileana. This is gonna be challenging, but we're gonna try to keep her alive. The goal is that we want to talk to her with Ike. She's probably going to come left. So it's a good thing Titania still has the hammer. Because all these guys are going to be a pain. You have fire. Steel bow, long bow. Ooh, there's another fun weapon. A Yuhen hewn bow of above average size. It has two to three range. That's not fun. Oh, you just got a whole mix of items. Iron blade, steel lances, ugh. Pull axe! Yeah, okay, Titania and Oscar are going right. And Boyd, Ike, and I guess Soren left, because less of these people have range aside from Ileana. As much as Soren would be good for the fire tomes. He'd probably die to the steel bow. And then I need someone down the middle. So I guess Ike left. I don't think that Mia alone can handle this. So probably Ike, Mia, Soren left. Maybe. Boyd, can you handle all these assholes? Possibly. And here we go. We've got a boss over here. We've got a Bjork in armor. Kimura. Okay, part of me kind of wants to send Titania down eventually and kill that asshole. We have eight turns to do it. We might be able to. And she still has hammer uses, which is good. We're gonna need those. Hmm. I don't trust Mia to survive over here. I trust her maybe to survive over here. And Reese needs to be relatively central to dole out healing. Soren needs to go this way. And Ike needs to go this way because Ileana's over here and we need to bait her to talk with Ike. We can't let this guy attack Titania or Oscar. Okay. That hair screams 80s. Is she waifu? If yes, then playable. Yep. Favorite character is Mephilus, and it's purely because of the fandom. Xbox, but you played Sonic Hero and Shadow on a PlayStation. 
I think my favorite description of, like, Sonic 06 is the hilarious realization that that game just does not crash. <laughs> like, people will speedrun it, right? And there's just an amazing amount of stuff you can do to that game and it won't break. Okay. Mia, Ike, Soren. Ike can probably handle some of this. Oscar and Titania are gonna go right and Boyd can block down for now. Eh, that's the plan. Um, can I get Mia that armor slayer? Yeah, and she can use it. That's good. Okay. So she might also be able to help with the boss, but Titania would be best because she has weapon triangle advantage. Okay. Uh, and we can go back to the base from here, so let's just save over shades of evil and we're gonna give it a shot let's try player phase all right ike you stand here oh yeah we can now order our units to do things uh Yeah, you'll you'll survive if you stand here probably. Get Soren behind you. If I put Titania here and give her the hammer, then she should be able to kill those armor knights probably. Their range extends that far, which is good. Hold the hammer and wait. I'm gonna probably send Mia west, but keep her back a few paces. And then Oscar and Boyd, your 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 defense is actually better than your brother's, so I think I'm gonna have you wait for the onslaught of these guys. And we're gonna plop Reese right in the middle. And I'm gonna put you behind your brother and have you equip the hand axe. So you can do some extended attacks. Let's give it a try. Let's see if this works. I didn't think to equip a javelin on Oscar. Not a great start. But, hey, he missed. Okay. I see what they're doing. You won't knock anyone's fondness for 06. I would not either. Wow, okay. The AI's got some semblance of a brain. Good for them. Okay, you're gonna try to javelin to Tanya. Between Oscar and Boyd, which one is Mario and Luigi? I don't know, they're both green, so. That doesn't help us much. Steel Lance. Yeah, that's not great. This is why losing Gaytree right before this map is such a fucking blow, man. Like, having him would make this a lot easier on us. Okay, Steel Lance 2, like Boogaloo. Good, he missed. That's good. I'm sad we can't one-shot, because that eats a lot of hammer uses, but we will be able to get more as we play further into the game. And we still have Regal Swords and Armor Slayers, so it's not entirely the end of the world, if it breaks. But it's good to have, especially if the boss comes to attack us. There we go. Luigi and Mr. I from the hit game Super Paper Mario. Okay, we baited out Longbow Guy. No damage. Beautiful. Okay. So far, this is okay. Wow! My lord, they're smart. They're kind of disturbingly intelligent, to be honest. Okay, I did not equip the Regal Sword, did I? Nope. My brain's functional today, I promised you. Uh, 
I could try to feed that kill to Maya. Okay. Yeah. 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 Palax guy. Or I could feed it to Sorin. More likely. The healers are incoming. Ileana's coming this way. I need to be careful to try not to kill her. She can't reach us this turn, though. I wish Mia had range and or canto. This would make life easier. Hmm. I don't know if she would survive up there, to be honest. I can send Oscar, not Oscar, Boyd to kill this guy. But can he do it? Not quite. Okay. Oscar might be able to, but can Boyd survive the onslaught? Probably. Um... Soren, please. Ah, okay. I actually think... No, we can't send Oscar. He'd die. Okay. Noted. We could send Void. Maybe. I'll think about it. And then we're gonna swap over to her Steel Axe and kill this guy. Probably. Just to stop him from blocking up the path. Actually, you have nine resistance? Holy shit, Titania. Why are you so good at everything? <laughs> yeah, no, she's gonna take one damage from the mages. We don't need to use one of Reese's uses on her. That's hilarious, actually. Soren really could have used one more point of magic, honestly. God, we, we lack so much in attack power right now. This is bad. Let's give it a shot. Nice. Good job. The ungodly ringing noise in the final bat level's battle music is literally giving you tinnitus, and that's not even wearing head headphones. Oh, Jesus Christ. You love having to mute the game you're playing because it's causing physical pain. God, I don't remember that happening to me, but I'm so sorry. That sucks. 18 attack. 16 attack. No. Ten attack. Yeah, actually, I think you're fine. As long as none of these guys have range. They don't. That's why I put Soren here. Do I want to just keep Ike here? He doesn't need to heal yet, is the problem. But, hold on. <laughs> There's so much math. Why am I making myself do math this late at night? Uh, 9 defense, 17 attack, 10 attack, 
16 attack, 18 attack. I actually think it might behoove us to let Soren poke him and leave Ike here to stop the floodgates with a steel sword and kill some other dudes. I know that's weird, but this guy can't counterattack Soren. There's a chance that he crits our adepts. Mia's not going to survive the onslaught until we thin it out a bit. Ileana's not in danger of dying yet, so we just gotta, you know, poke them. You mean in like, oh yay, we hit Adept, we're good. Um, so KH3D, you mean? Did he just crit? <laughs> he crit a unit with one HP. Soren, honey, I love you, but that's so unnecessary. <laughs> there we go, that's a little better, ain't it? Uh, I still don't feel safe enough to put Mia out front right now, but I think I'm just going to equip the Javelin on Oscar so he has more range. And wait. Yeah. Wait. Everyone can wait. Uh, I don't... The only thing we can do really is ward, but we don't need to right now, so... Uh, let me make sure you're not- Aha! Good thing I checked! Reese, love, take one step to the left for me. <laughs> he just wanted to flex. I don't remember the final battle music in that game. I'm so sorry. I also played it on a 3DS, so, you know, it's been a while. Bam! Hand axe. This is good. This is good so far. Uh, okay. 21 iron axe is fine. That's not a lot of damage off the javelin, bro. Well, I guess you're all gonna get some levels, hopefully. Oscar, can you freaking dodge anything, please? Otherwise your brother is gonna have to block this gate. And they have a healer down here. Oh. God, this map is pain. Steel sword. Missed, thank you. Both missed. Why? I might have to swap some placements and put these two where Titania is right now, because Titania can survive this, but... Yeah, if that guy doubled Oscar, he would be dead. We're switching him with Titania. Noted. Javelin! The theme from the world that never was is an awful ringing so noise that goes like how the sound of a flashbang goes in a movie and it's constant. Oh, Jesus. Who made this creative decision? I just want to talk. Titania, no. No, honey. Okay. We need to swap positions of our units, clearly. Okay. Weird. Why Ike? Can you kill Ike if you all hit? I don't think so. Seems an odd choice. Okay, a sword user. This map is pain. My brain is not working well today, is it? I'm pretty sure Soren can kill that guy next turn, thankfully. Or at least one of these guys. Hmm. Polax guy needs to die, for sure. Okay. 
God, having to do all this and- What the f Wait, why? Why would you do this? I don't understand. Okay, I think we need to kill Polax guy with Soren. That I'm sure of. Anything else beyond that, you're gonna have to give me a sec to figure it out. I need to somehow pull Oscar to where Titania is currently standing. Alternatively, I could move him first, then move to Tanya, and then use Oscar. Boyd, if I kill the javelin guy, can Boyd survive a fire? 10, 2, 8. Javelin is 14, 6. I think so. But I have to kill the, ja the sword guy. For the love of God, Oscar. Good boy. Okay. This gives us slightly more wiggle room. Do I want to put Oscar there or do I want to put Boyd? I think the answer is Boyd. As long as he sits here, equips Steel Axe and eats a Vulnery. Liliana's coming down real fast with El Thunder, just to be extra spooky. Okay. Twenty-nine HP with a weapon defense. Fifteen. Four. Two. Three. Three. Four, five, four, two, three, two, four, five. I need a pencil. <laughs> oh God, Fire Emblem is more math than D and D. Defense eleven. HP is twenty nine. So we're taking reduced damage from all of these. And the damage amount is minus four, is 25. Uh, minus six is 19. Minus another four is 15. Two is 11. 13. And three is ten. And ten minus three is seven. Fire Emblem Math D and D. I'm gonna seduce a cat wish. If you take the square root of the remaining hit points on a vector containing the sides, the chance by Jove she dies. Actually, I'm pretty sure according to this, she has at least seven HP left. We need to have Reese get over here and mend Oscar to full HP. The real question is, do we have Titania sit and eat a Vulnery? Which we might want to do just in case any of these guys happen to have... Um... Happen to have 
crit chances, which is unlikely, but it's enough of a risk that I don't want him to, her, to unnecessarily die over it. Ike, honey. Okay, sure, I guess we'll use the use of the Iron Blade. I think they're gonna line up in such a way that Ileana won't die to the Iron Blade this turn. We're on our third turn, so we have time. I don't know if I'm gonna get the bonus EXP from killing the boss, though. This has not been going great. Good, strength, okay. I think that means we won't get slowed down as much by the Iron Blade. Um... Can you survive this still? I think the answer is sadly no. This is why I'm like, I don't know if I'm gonna be using Mia much this map because it's a defend map where it relies on you being very defensive and it doesn't show her off very well, really. Though once we thin the third a bit, which I think will happen this turn, I think we'll be okay. And if we lose a unit, we'll just have to try the map again. It's fine. All it takes is a lot of practice, trial and error, and figuring out what works well. Why? I guess they're trying to get the maximum number of people to potentially attack him, but that seems stupid. But okay. Yeah, okay. Good. This means Longbow Guy went for Boyd instead of trying to go for Reese. Actually, he can't shoot through the wall. Reese is fine. Okay. Fire guy's a little scarier, but I actually don't think it's that bad. Yep. Fire doesn't have an extra crit chance at all. Okay. You know, I forgot I was probably supposed to just heal Ike that turn. Hmm. Well, Ileana's definitely not dying because she can't even get close. Steel Lance guy. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> you also have a Steel Lance. Okay, but only two of them can attack. Don't crit. Oh. No! <laughs> no, I stop that! <laughs> I think we're fine. No, we're not fine. If Ileana attacks them, we're gonna have to reset the map. <laughs> idiot. I should have healed. I forgot I was supposed to heal Ike. I deserve this. Wait. They moved in such a way that she can't attack. Why am I never punished on this playthrough? I deserve to lose this run. I played like shit, man. Okay. Fine, RN Jesus. I see you've decided to take mercy. Ike has elixirs. It's fine. Again, next turn, Ileana shouldn't die. We still have four more turns to recruit her. Oh, this map is painful. <laughs> yeah, uh... And Titania can clear this herd, which is good. That means she can probably head south and try to take out the boss. Oscar and Boyd, weirdly enough, are probably fine. Ike is not fine. <laughs> I hate how smart the AI is, though. Yeah, I I was not. That was, I shouldn't have lived that. I really shouldn't have. <laughs> oh, man. Y you now see why I don't do, like, Iron Man runs. Whoa, what was that to Tanya? Oh, she countered. That's what it was. Holy shit, to Tanya. Ah, <laughs> um, okay. The Steel Lance users all need to be dead. Like, yesterday. How much damage does L Thunder do? 15. Res of 7 is 8. Okay. Well, regardless, the first thing we're doing is killing a Steel Lance guy. Which one do we want Sword to kill? Upper or left? I think we're gonna go with up. And she won't be able to kill Soren. That's much as a given. Jesus Christ, chat. That was bad. That was really fucking bad. 
I should not be alive. I miss Gay Tree. <laughs> yeah, uh, up seems like a good option. Let's feed him some more EXP because we can. He and Ileana won't kill each other if she targets him. I should move Mia. She would target Mia. Actually, if she targets Mia, what? She does 15 versus 2 res is the problem. 3 damage from the Iron Bow guy. Uh, if she's not holding the Armor Slayer, she's not stalling herself down. 3 and 13 is 16. Does anyone else here have range? No. Actually, it might behoove me to keep her here. Because she's going to draw some aggro away from Ike. I can even ward staff her, probably. Um, can I throw a javelin? No, I can't through the wall. That's annoying. Um, I'm pretty sure I can now safely move to Tanya here. Because there's only two guys left. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Take some ground back. Um, and wait. Ike, you need to use your fucking elixir. Holy shit. This is why we give Ike the elixir. There we go. Nom nom nom, buddy. Actually, what's your speed? Nine. Thirteen. Okay, neither of you will double as long as you are holding the slim sword. I don't even know if she can attack through that wall, actually, but I'm not taking my chances. Hmm. I can make Oscar use his javelin. He has only one resistance, though. You deal 10, 8, 11 versus 10. Okay, he's fine there. This guy, no, not you. You're fine. You're just a healer. Um, you can't reach them. Okay. I think it's... Nah, he's not going to be able to kill with a javelin. That sucks. I still might plop him here with the javelin to draw some aggro away from his brother. Yeah. That seems wise. You have a javelin. God damn it. Okay. That's annoying. Actually, technically I could do this. And then pick him up with Oscar. And then put him down. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's fine, I think. And then stand there with the javelin. Ooh. Mm, no, I think we're okay. Barely. Kill this guy with the steel axe. For the record, if I lose someone on this map and have to try it again, I'm not mad. Because I deserve it. <laughs> I do. It's one of those things where it's like, I'm not upset if I lose because like I'm I messed up, you know? It's a different story if it's, like, really shit RNG at the end of a long map and it's obnoxious or something, but this is just me playing badly. I think we're gonna be okay. For now. Yep. They targeted Oscar, as I suspected. We're gonna have to heal Oscar, that's for shit sure. Okay. 
I might be able to send me over here and get some EXP, actually. I might do that. Bow guy. Miss? That'd be nice if you missed. Nice! Good job. Good Ike. Please don't die to everyone else. Iron Sword doesn't do that much to Ike. He doesn't double that guy. That's okay. Wow, they traded items! God, the AI in this game is kind of disturbingly good. I don't know if I like that. I mean, it's neat, but it's obnoxious for me. What? Oh my god. Oh! Okay. Hmm. A little more annoying up there, but otherwise okay. No, she can't quite reach to kill. Ike, can you not Ike? Soren. Yeah, kill this guy with a the wind. Then technically I think we can recruit Ileana. Because she didn't attack us. Okay. Sure. Someone stole her vulnerary. Well, she's down here, yeah. It would be nice to find a place she can help. Yeah. All this and we still have waifu to think about. It's a hard map. Nice level up, Sora. Not bad. I'll take it. Would appreciate speed too, but all those are good stats to have. Drop. Hmm. That's annoying. I think I want you down here. Help here. Thank you. Use the vulnerary. Good. I can talk to her. I don't think I can die. Luck zero. Attack ten. I might want to swap his weapon out. Attack 16 slash 17. He does 9 damage to Ike. You do... 1 damage to Ike. I could try with Mia over here, but... The problem is this guy would kill the shit out of her next turn. I think we have to send Mia over with Void. And preferably here. So she doesn't get attacked, because Void can survive two hits, but I don't know if she can. This is the problem with me on this map. And Ike should be able to survive everyone over here, so we can recruit Mage 2. Hmm. Huh? Who are you? I... I am a traveling mage. My name is Ileana? This castle? Oh. Uh, hey! You all right? I'm sorry. The rain is so cold. I feel like I'm freezing. You don't look so good. Are you sick? Do you need medicine? You're awfully kind, aren't you? You know, you don't look like any Dane soldier I've ever seen. Are you really one of them, or have you, or have they press ganged you into service? I was traveling with some merchants, but we got separated. I came here to escape the rain, but the soldiers in black found me. They thought I was a Crimean refugee. Ooh. More war crimes to add to Ashnard's list. <laughs> Christ, Ashnard, what the fuck? Oh. I tried to tell them who I was, but they wouldn't believe me. They said they would put me to the sword if I didn't help fight you. I'm very sorry. Oh, don't apologize. You didn't have any choice. If it had been me, I would have done the same. But listen, I think I've seen the merchant convoy you were traveling with in the castle. There was a weapons vendor named Mustan and a woman named Amy who I think sold items. That's them! Oh, that's incredible! Are they unharmed? Where are they? At least they aren't employing any child soldiers yet. Let 
Right? <laughs> right? Not that we know of. They're fine. They're fine. In fact, we've come to an agreement, and they're traveling with us now. I don't see any reason we should go on fighting. If you're with them, we can protect you from Dane. You're right! Oh, yes, would you please allow me to join your company, too? That sounds fine, Ileana. This is a dangerous place. Go ahead and seek safely into the castle. We'll hold off the enemy troops. No, I'll fight, too. But you're sick. You'll need some help. This isn't the full force of Dane's soldiers. More of them are waiting in the forest. You need me. Well, I wish you weren't right, but it sounds like we will need your help. I'm just glad I can get away from those awful black-clad soldiers. Unfortunately, we can't attack now, but we can wait. I don't know if these guys could kill Oleana. I should check. Defense 3, HP 20. No, you're very Soren like in your build. Yeah, you would you would die. Let's uh Can I you attack through the wall, Ileana? No, that's so sad. I'm sorry. Here, we'll send you over to help the others. How about that? The boyfriends can handle themselves pretty well. Actually. If I give you this, can you give me your javelin, and then... Yoink. To be it, you wouldn't be shocked if this series has touched on child soldiers and somehow keeps a T rating. Yep. Yeah, this game does a lot and somehow keeps a T rating, honestly. There's, I mean, there's obviously the racism, but the systemic nature of the racism it portrays is a lot. Fair warning. I mean, we're gonna get into more of it, obviously. Okay, Longbow Guy's gonna try to attack Reese. He can't double him, so it should be okay. Okay... I actually think Ileana can kill Longbow Guy, which would be good. Okay, these guys shouldn't be able to kill Ike, as far as I'm aware. And Ike should hopefully be able to kill... If Ike can't kill the other guy, then Soren can finish it off. Yeah. Because Ike wasn't able to kill this guy last time, but he can't kill Ike. Soren can kill him. The healer can't kill Soren. The armored knights aren't going to get to us this turn. So Soren can get another kill and we'll go from there. Maybe. That's a pretty good heal. The healer is kind of fucking with my plans. There's a lot of healers. Okay. What do you guys have? Are you more- Wow, you guys have way worse weaponry than your initial friends. You have a javelin, that's annoying. We'll see where you end up walking. Uh, I want to see if I can push through at the bottom of the map. I really do. I wish I could attack through this wall so badly right now. But I think I should have Ileana kill this guy. Realistically. If I can. Damn it. <laughs> of course. Oh, come on, guys. Because Reese is going to be fine if he's attacked by fire. This guy's only got an iron lance. And Ileana is fine, as long as she doesn't get attacked by this guy, because she can handle mages. She's got ten res. See, here's the thing, Ileana. Boyd isn't really the sort of guy that can soften things for you. Well, he could with the hand axe, and then we could try to kill with Mia or Ileana. 
Or I could start sending her down to assist with boss kill. Mia has shit res though, and she does have an armor slayer, so maybe Mia can go down and help with boss kill. Yeah, let's do that. That'll be fun. She can try. Uh, which of these iron axes is more used? Use the one that's more used. It's nice when the bows go plink. Seems like something- yeah. Is it time for our enemies to send in their B-Squad? The ones made up of trainees and bad equipment, seems it. Also, now we know they're using Crimean refugees as conscripted soldiers. Uh, uh, fun. Not fun. We'll send that to the convoy and we'll give it to, you know, whenever we get our next... Mia, please. Those two don't have range, though. And they could both reach her. That's a damn shame. Why don't you just go down and start helping out these two, okay? Wield the javelin, you hold on to the steel lance, you wait. Soren, can you kill this guy? Thank god, okay. That gives gets rid of our last major issue over here. I can step forward and kill... Yeah. Kill Bowman, I think. Can you do with the Iron Sword? No, that's a shame. I wish you could, Ike. That'd be cool. Can you do it with the Steel Sword and still double? Yeah, okay, that's fine. Well, perfect. Okay, uh, come on, Ike. Eh. Okay. I guess the speed is acceptable. I was gonna say I did this wrong, but then I realized that the only units that can reach Reese are our magical ones. And they should be fine. Okay, then. That's kind of hilarious. Damn! <laughs> okay, Reese. Hey, here comes the boss. Yeah, come come eat <laughs> Titania's face. We'll see how that goes for you. Yeah, I figured this would happen. You have fire tomes. Can you even do damage? <laughs> nice. Free XP. Sorry, Pika, if I wasn't here for the legendary shit show, like someone will have to tell me. Uh, I don't think I was. I don't know that bit of Russian history. You'll have to inform me at a later date. Alright, the boss is coming for our wig, but... He's also coming towards Titania. Who has the hammer. And Mia, who has the armor slayer. We're using a lot of javelin uses. But I'm pretty sure if we kill the boss, we'll get bonus EXP. So... I don't know if it ends the map on this chapter, though. So we'll have to be a little careful. But we're almost there. 
I gotta check. I mean... Wow, really? Not one shot by Titania. That's a shame. Do you go into her range? Yes. So what if I just... Kill this guy with Oscar. Or not! Fine. You kill this guy, Eliana. Damn, not quite. Boyd won't. Well. The story of the Russian Pacific Second Squadron, aka Voyage of the Damned. Rest assured it requires a lot of friendly fire, a school of shark, and vodka. Sounds like a hell of a story. I would love to hear it sometime. 14, Gets a kill for Ileana. We can see how she'll do. Why magic? Holy shit. On every other stat going up there, Boyd. That's very impressive. But why magic? I gotta ask. Just dream of being a mage. It's fantastic and you love that story. Okay, let's see how Ileana does with El Thunder. I think she just crit. Unnecessary, but thanks. <laughs> nice, 35, okay. Mm. How many uses does this hammer have left? 13. Yeah, I think we actually can just... Smash this guy with the hammer, so he's out of the way. Why? Why? Why is this guy the dodgiest man on planet Earth? Okay. Sure. Mm. Nah, I'm gonna leave it here, so if those guys come attack, we can have that. Oh yeah, I wanted to see how Mia would fare against these guys, didn't I? Hilariously bad. Hold your swim sword and chill over here. Oh yeah, you have range! Shit. Good try. A for effort, I guess? Nah, I don't think we're gonna be able to kill the boss, sadly. We came decently close, but since he has range, not that he drops anything. We'd get cool dialogue, I'm sure, but no cool dialogue for us today. Yeah, okay. 
You have zero luck. Yeah. Thought so. Can we hit this guy? Or is he just dodgy McGee? Okay, finally. We must kill Mullet Man. Jesus, she's a murderer. <laughs> I mean, I can try. The problem is no one else in range can probably damage him. Because of the way I've moved my units. And Titania can't one-shot. I can try and see what Oscar can do. But I put Ike so far to the left. And Soren is not in boss range. And I don't think Ileana's in boss range. And we're on our last turn. And that guy just blocked off direct access to the boss. Permission to use Oscar to kill this healer. Yeah, we're doing that. Why? This map has not gone my way in the slightest, honestly, chat. It's not happening. We can't kill the boss. I'm sorry. What do you hold? Javelin? Iron Lance? Damage? 14. 16. 14? Not men, just heal. Get the EXP. This is funny, but I'm actually gonna... Let's check how far these guys can- Yeah, um, this'll be weird. We're face tanking with the new mage. <laughs> Go get him, tiger! <laughs> As much as I'd love to give Soren more EXP, he can't shoot through walls, so. Uh. I don't even think it's worth holding onto the hammer, because the boss is going to attack Titania from range, so. It'd be better for me to just try to kill one of these guys. Or even better than that, just wait. Yeah. Sorry, Titania. I wanted to get you the boss. Huh? What's going on? All troops attack! Okay. Yeah, he's gonna attack her from range, so it wouldn't have mattered what I equipped on her. Because he's just gonna shoot the short spear and miss, because his accuracy is terrible. Well, we held out against overwhelming odds. We've been trying to make whales first file like a fishy game of Tetris. I'm confused what that means. Fit. Oh, yes. Fit in the file. This is the silliest thing. There you go, Eliana. <laughs> Would it be weird to have this many magic units on my team? Nah. 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 I like them. I know it's not that great in this game, but I like them. So, don't judge me.
Okay. We have a chance, then. No, I think this is... The problem is this is an enemy phase of the last turn, so I think we're done. Oh, also, welcome, Ed. Sorry, I just saw that. Whatever. We get more EXP. It's not the end of the universe. You only have an Iron Lance. You might die. Not Ike, I mean- Yeah, he critted! Extra EXP. Nom nom nom. We're gonna play through the next map's base, and then I think- My god, how is it 9.30? I guess we did spend an hour in prep. <laughs> Steel Axe broke! Well, we expected that to happen, didn't we? <sighs> there are still more of them. Everyone, fall back to the castle. Regroup! Yeah, maybe stick inside it. We don't have a mage anymore. <sighs> Blast. Not yet. Not yet. Will not fail. Oh. Brother! Mist, you're not supposed to be out there. I told you to stay. I don't care. Mist, there's no way we can escape. This is it, isn't it? We're all gonna die here, aren't we? Don't be foolish. No matter what happens, I'm making sure you and Ralph get out of here alive. Once you're out of danger, you go straight to the palace and stay with Princess Alincia. No, I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying here with everyone. I'm staying with you. As long as I'm with you, I'm not afraid to die. We'll see, mother and father. We'll all be together again. Oh, sh- Ugh. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. That got me a bit. <laughs> so please, stop telling me to leave you. I can't. I can't leave any of you again. All right? All right. Don't leave my side. Thank you, brother. But one more thing. You're not going to see Mother just yet. What? I'm going to protect you. I'm not going to let you die. I gave Father my word. Mike. Man, how did they know we were gonna be here? That's my question. Were they just following a merchant company? This seems like a lot of people to attack a merchant company. I know this might sound strange, but they definitely got info that we were here. And I have to assume it was from the Black Knight. Because he's the only Dane-aligned person we've seen that knows about this castle. So basically, that would imply the Black Knight killed our father and then sent a massive troop to kill the rest of us. You took on the Dane army with meager numbers, and you fought well. My compliments. Well, I'm really mad I didn't kill you so that I could have a different scene here, but I don't know if it was statistically possible with the team I have right now. However, it ends now. Prepare to die. Here we go. What was that? What happened? We've got some new recruits. Cursed Gallian beasts. There are only two of them. How could they have brought my army to its knees? How? How are they so strong? 
Is that why people fear the legumes? Because of their strength? Well, that might be one reason. Uh, glory to Dave. So, uh, are you two from the palace? Did the King of Gallia send you out? He did. I am Mordecai, warrior of Gallia. Mordecai is an absolute sweetheart. Deus ex furry. God. Basically. Your hair is blue. You are Ike. Is this correct? Uh, that's right. I'm Ike. You saved us back there. Thank you. Ranulf told me Ike is not a bad stranger. Mordecai and Ike, we will become friends. You don't know that. You don't know if we can trust him. It's too soon to tell. He's a Bjork, a human. You know all humans have two faces. All right, Leth. Uh, Leth is also a very well-beloved character. She has this really amazing support arc with another character who we have yet to recruit where they both kind of overcome their racism and it's awesome and I will try my best to get it because it's amazing. It is understand- The problem is, the sad part about the world is a lot of people's racist bias is kind of understandable. Not justifiable, necessarily, but you can get why they ended up with such a horrible mentality. Leth, I understand. Even Patrine, for as shitty as she is as a person, there's a reason she hates Lagoos so much, and it's because of how the Lagoos in her life had treated her. So, yeah. It's kind of sad, but... Seeing characters that are at least on the good side overcome it is really satisfying. You trust Mordecai's sincerity. Mordecai's a sweetheart. Yes, we are friends now. It is time for hugs. Yeah, Mordecai would say that. Let. Bjork. Uh, what's that? That's what you are. We with the power are Lagoos. You soft, hairless things with no power at all. You are called Bjork. What did you say? Leth, you are being bad. The king forbids this. We cannot fight with Bjork. Most Bjork call us by hated names. Look at us with eyes filled with scorn. Subhuman? <laughs> Is that how Bjork treat their friends? Is that how Bjork treat their allies? You're right. Some of us use that name far too readily. I guess if we had thought about it, we'd have realized it's not a polite term but we didn't know you by any other name. I'm sorry. You knew no other name for us? Are we really so little to you, human? Oof. You look like a hairless pink weasel thing. True. You suppose it's realistic in some cases, but seeing them overcome it is great. It was bold of them to make a character on the good side outright racist. There are multiple, actually, who have racist ideas. I mean, Shinon's just an asshole. Leth actively is incredibly biased against Bjork. And there's another character we see later who is also deeply mired in racism. And some other people with us might have their own incredible biases against Lagoos that have yet to come up in dialogue. It's sad, but it's not unrealistic, you know? You, who forced us into slavery. How easily you forget. But we will goos, we remember. We remember how we suffered at your hands. The king can say whatever he likes. I will not trust you. I warn you now, never speak to me in such a way. Leth. What's your point? Did you come all this way to complain to us? 
There we go. Someone else has said something racist today. Typical subhuman. Scum. Those who use that name are enemies of Gallia. Subhuman enemy. He is enemy. You think you're humans. The only thing human about you is your conceit. There you go. Yeah, no, there's a lot of characters who are on our side that are actively racist at this point. Including our boy over here. Yeah, no, smack him. He actually has the exact same reason that Patrine does that they both hate Lagoos. We'll get to it. Eventually. Doesn't mean that this isn't incredibly rude of a response to them and rather uncalled for, dude. Yeah, no, this is a really good way to get yourself beat to shreds. Mordecai, kill him. Ike, how? What? Ike. Ike, I'm sorry. I have hurt you. I did not intend to hurt you. Bitch, we need their help. They're literally three minutes ago. You saved their life. Yeah, don't ruin things for us, Soren. I'm sorry, dude. I get that you are mad that they're snarking us and you fucking hate them. But also, they just saved your life, so could you chill out for five fucking seconds, you asshole? You sound like Shinon right now. <laughs> I feel like that's a good way to get him to shut up, dude. You sound like Shinon. Because he does. You've known Mordecai for six minutes and you would die for him. I would too. Mordecai, this injury is nothing. I'm fine. You're nothing but a beast. Soren, stand down. Why did you stop me? He hurt you. He could have killed you. If you hadn't provoked him, none of this would have happened. But I only... Oh, I'm sorry. Mordecai, Leth, I apologize on behalf of my company. Please forgive Soren. There is a difference between Soren and Shinon right there. Soren is capable of realizing he fucked up real bad and apologizing. Shinon would not apologize. He would keep fighting. Get his ass, like. Yeah, no, he's he's being really stupid in this scene. He actively hates Lagoos. It's a poor excuse, but we recently lost some companions. We're all tired and we're not thinking clearly. Ike forgave Mordecai, so now I forgive Soren. No one need be angry. <sighs> I apologize as well. My behavior's been unkind. I forgot our mission and I blundered terribly. Mission? The king wants to see you. We're here to guide you to the royal palace. Okay. Tensions are still high between all of these people, but at the very least, everyone apologized at the end and realized they went way too far. If anything happens to Mordecai, you'll kill everyone in this room and myself. I guess Mordecai gets add added to the list of characters we'd reset for. Yeah, and there therein lies the difference between Shinon and Soren. Both horribly biased and racist in their own way right now. Shinon is enough of an asshole that he just kind of walked off and left. He wouldn't have dealt with this well. It's probably a good thing we didn't have Shinon with us. Though, we all have some work to do, don't we? Despair and hope clear. Let's get ourselves to the next chapter. Which is... Gallia. Alright, I need water. Give me one sec. <clears throat> yeah, do you want to explain what happened yesterday, buddy? Just a thought, Soren. Good morning, Ike. May I have a moment of your time? What is it? I'm listening. Our expenses. Our ability to fight. The current status of our troops. These are all things you must know. 
I see. I've been grasped that that is part of the commander's job, too, right? Understood. Let me hear it. That phrasing made it seem like Soren wants to hand us his pyramid scheme or religious pamphlets. <laughs> Please come back to bed. Very well. Also, yes, with the way that I'm currently playing through, we will hear the reason why Soren had such a harsh reaction. All right, um, now we actually get to see all of what we get. We didn't get any bonus XP because we didn't kill the boss, but we've seen what we earned, what we spent, our new allies that we've gotten, anyone who has fallen, who the MVP is, obviously, Titania, and any combat or bonus EXP you have. That's it. I think I've got most of it. I'll give you a report before each battle. And I hope that it helps. I'm sure it will. Thank you. I'm relying on you for all the details, so keep up the good work. Thank you, Commander. I'll do my best. But if I have your leave, I must be going. And now we have Ileana. I don't think I have any other steel axes. No, I'm gonna yoink the Iron Lance for you and buy you a Steel Axe. No, not the Iron Sword, a Steel Axe, please. How much are they? Okay, axes are still pretty cheap, thankfully. I want to see my crypto mining rig. Please stop. All you need to do is sign up three of your friends and start the town line. He starts calling him on. Oh, God. Do not chat. Um, let's see. Supports. There we go. We can get our Ike Soren support. Let's do that. I like that. I like the support. So that's how much we spent. Supplies are running low. We need dried meat, fresh fruit. Ike, are you listening? Huh? Oh, sorry. I wasn't paying attention. I would have never guessed. Sorry, Soren. Look, could you run the report by me again? You're tired, Ike. You need rest. Go find a cot somewhere. You can tell? Of course. When you're not feeling well, your left eye twitches. That's... odd. I never noticed. For research purposes, what is the Ike Soren ship called? It's called Ike Soren. There are a number of cute fan arts and fictions that you can find across the internet for it. They have a cipher card together. <clears throat> and as of two years ago, Fire Emblem Heroes gave them a Valentine's alt. So, yeah. <laughs> yes, it is very much a ship. Also a note, especially considering these games came out in 2008. Um, Ike only has two paired endings at the end of these games. They are both with men, and one of them is Soren. That is about as canon when it gets, yes. Faye, Mordecai, what? Oh, he's already in. You can get Mordecai and Faye. I believe he's even in the four-star pool. I've gotten him quite a few times. Gay. Yeah, no, literally. It is heavily implied through a lot of dialogue throughout these games that Ike is either gay, asexual, or my favorite theory, both. <laughs> You know who you'll be pulling for? Yeah, he, I believe he's in the general pool still. Uh, if not, he should be on revival banners. So, this is like pro mare levels of subtlety, which is none at all. It's slightly, ever so slightly more subtle because we're dealing with an anime game from 2000. Uh, what year is this? 2005, but damn if they didn't do it. Get some sleep. I can manage things for a few hours. Well, I am pretty beat. Go. 
You know what, Soren? You're not nearly as insensitive as the others say. Deep down, you are a big softy. Excuse me? Oh, nothing. I'm going. Mm, don't let the bag bugs bite. <laughs> just, just call him a fucking softy and leaves. Let's see. What other supports have we unlocked? Ooh, Titania Reese. Chat, do you guys want to do the Titania Reese support? Soren's edgy persona is slipping. What do you mean? I, I don't care about you guys. I. Hmm. <laughs> yes, okay. Let's do Titania Reese. That sounds pleasant. Titania and Reese. How are you feeling, Reese? Good. No fevers are shaking today. Thanks for asking. You know, I was just thinking about the first time we met. It was almost a year ago to this very day. Was it really? Oh, you're right. My time does fly. Of course, I don't remember much of the initial encounter since I was unconscious and bleeding. <laughs> remember that? I don't know why we didn't bring a healer with us that day. Fighting bandits without a staff. Not smart. I was lucky that I found you. I didn't usually venture that deep into the forest, but... I was short on medicinal herbs. Mom, friend, and prince. Soren, Dere. It's true, though. Yeah, those bandits were a rough lot. Their stomping around was right near our village, actually. It's all coming back to me now. They were tougher than I thought. We took most of them out with ease, but one fled into the woods and I gave chase. Big mistake. My horse got hung up in the undergrowth, and that bandit nearly got the drop on me. At least Shinon hit him before I was killed. Katri and Shinon were both really worried when they brought you back to my parents' house. Really? I didn't even know that. Huh. I didn't think Shinon ever worried about anyone. But they stayed with me until my wounds were healed. I remember that. You know, if it wasn't for your good work, I wouldn't have been able to use an axe anymore. I really appreciate it. No, oh, I should thank you. You convinced Grail to hire me. And now I can send money back to my parents. Chat resends money back to his parents. Oh. They're both so old and I'm their only source of income. Your parents are very kind. Especially your mother. And she made that great wildberry pie. To repay their kindness, I will protect their son. No matter what. Oh, I appreciate that, Titania. Okay, that cute. That cute, the goodest boy. I don't know, Mordecai is a pretty good boy. Also, yeah, um, a little weird that Ileana has a potential support with Gaytree when he's already left, but... Hmm. And you can see that a lot of units have a lot of supports, which is essentially an earlier Fire Emblems and... Also echoes. Limited to five as a par in part to, you know, get you to play a game you like more than once. Alright. Soren, real talk. Let's talk. Hmm. What's wrong, Soren? Are preparations complete? Yes, everything's ready. You have only a few robes and musty books. I'm taking a bit less, but it looks as though you travel light as well. The burden of unnecessary items is something I detest. Me too. We're alike in that, aren't we? Hmm. What is it? You've got that worried look again. Well, um, it's nothing. Never mind. Ike. Ike, are you sure it's a worried look? Ike. Please don't be a death flag. Gator was less of an ass, true. <laughs> We're fine. It's fine. Don't worry about death flags. It's okay. The only death flag here is me right now. <laughs> Everything's... Everyone's really slow, aren't they? Sh shall I go and see what's taking them? Soren, don't worry about it. Huh? Sitting here in the morning, in the sunlight... It helps me to understand. I'm alive. I have trustworthy friends. 
that's how I know it can go on. I just hope I'm not fooling myself. No, you're not. You're not. Well then, it's business as usual. I know we'll have our troubles, but let's set our shoulders straight and get on with it. Understood. <laughs> the oh fuck, I've been <laughs> left alone with my crush look. Whoops. Let's check in with Mist. Ah, Ike. Good morning. Hmm. Morning? Are you alright? If I said I were, I'd be lying, but I'm doing my best. Yesterday I was so confused. Then I awoke this morning and I saw the blue sky and the sun on my face and I thought, I'm alive. The sunlight was so warm. I mean, it's always warm, but for some reason it made me want to cry. Oh, Mist. It's up to us. We must live the fullest lives we can. We have to live for mother and father. We mustn't dishonor their memory. So, um, I may think about them, and I may cry every now and then, but I'll carry on. You're right. Everything you said is right. We will carry on together. Right. Oh, sorry, but I have to hurry and get ready. See you later, brother. Yes, look at the time. Get a move on, will you? Let's check in with Oscar. Hey, good morning, Ike. How you feeling today? Yesterday's battle was a rough one, wasn't it? Hi, Oscar. Yeah, I'm sore all over. Every muscle in my body hurts. Hopefully I'll feel better after I move around for a while. I hope for the same. When I woke up, it was all I could do to get out of bed. We're truly lucky to be alive. If those two beast fighters hadn't arrived when they did, we might have all been wiped out. Yeah! Ike, I can't say I know what you're going through or how you feel. But you should try to remember what happened last night. The man we fought were professionals. They were trained under the command of a cunning tactician, but not invincible. You're saying they follow certain rules. Specific patterns? Yes, I see. If I can learn what they are, they become vulnerable. The next time we meet, we won't lose. Ah. Uh, what? For an instant there, looking at you was like looking at Commander Grail. I'm his son. I'm supposed to look like him, aren't I? It wasn't that. It wasn't an aura or a hunch or anything like that. I don't know what to call it. It was more like the core of your character. It felt the same as his. <laughs> Beast Fighter, is that slightly less racist? I think Beast Fighter is less racist than Subhuman, but I still think they would prefer to just be called Lagoos. Because they're people, just like us. They can just turn into animals. That doesn't make them any less human. Huh. <laughs> Sorry, that must have sounded pretty stupid. Oscar? Commander? From now on, when I practice, would you join me? It would be more familiar with the fighting style of knights. Of course! If there's anything I can do to help, you need only to ask. They're literally just humans, but cooler. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Let's check in with Mia. Mia, you didn't get to do much last battle. But you're not really designed for defense maps, are you? Oh, boss! Morning. Good morning. Are you ready to go? All set. It doesn't matter how late I go to sleep. I'm always awake before the sun rises. I can leave whenever. Uh, I'm sorry, you know, for everything that's happened. It's all so sudden. Oh, it's nothing, but it's been rough on you, hasn't it? I could say the same of you. It can't be easy joining a band of wanted mercenaries and fighting every day. Oh, it's not so bad. You were forced to join us by the whims of fate, not by choice. I know my father said you had a debt to repay, but he's not here anymore. So if you want to leave, I won't stop you. Ah, uh, 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 what? Oh, 
sometimes, times like this, I never have any idea what I'm supposed to say. None. Uh, darn. Hold on. Yesterday, in the middle of that giant mess, you didn't give up, boss. And I knew. That's how a true man lives. So now I have to follow you. You see? I think so. That's my story, boss. So do me a favor and don't tell me to get lost. I'm good to have around. You'll see. If that's how you feel, I guess I understand. I'm counting on you. Don't let me down. Never! I wouldn't know how. Nah, I like hopeless causes. <laughs> oh, God. I mean... That, we really need more people. I think having Mordecai and Leth is going to be a big help if they join us permanently. I sincerely hope at least Mordecai does, because holy shit, we need some more people in this army. Hey, Mordecai. Like, are you prepared? Can we depart soon? It's taking longer than I thought. I'm sorry for making you wait. I see. Then I will talk with you as we wait. Here, my words. Uh, are they well? Can you understand them? Sure, no problem. I understand you. That is good. Mordecai is not so good with this language. What language do you normally use? With others of my tribe, I need no words. I say all that I must with gestures and, how do you say, growls. Okay, not gonna lie, kind of love that the Beast Tribe has a, not the specifically the Beast Tribe, but I think they're technically the Tiger Tribe, have a language that's like specifically done with gestures. <laughs> that's really cool. Like having a, a gestural language be standard is sick. <laughs> She's practically reaching through the screen and begging me to use her. Okay. Okay, I'll see what I can do. That sounds con convenient. Yes. But our tongue does not let us talk to other tribes. That is not good. That is why we must learn these, uh, modern words. I would think that it would be enough being able to speak with only your friends, wouldn't it? It is not. If there is danger or conflict, we can use words to avoid fighting that need not be. So using words that many can hear is good. Huh. Using words to avoid unnecessary fighting. That's one way to think about it. Hmm. Mordecai has learned a new word in our tongue. It's yeet. Oh no. Don't teach me to yeet. Um, how are we doing? My iron blade is not great. I mean, I think... Ike's weapons should survive another battle. Uh, okay. Two steel lances. I don't have an iron lance. Let's trade with Oscar. Um, Soren. Hmm. Heliana's fine. She didn't get that much use last chapter. Mia's fine. Boyd is okay, I think, yeah. His iron axe stock is fine, his steel axe should hold him through the chapter. We got another steel axe for Titania. Everyone still has some healing items, except Eliana, because hers got stolen. Okay. We'll trade one of Mia's vulneraries over to Ileana, because we still have such a small army that we're practically going to have to use everyone, no matter what. 32, 20, 52. Do we want to buy Soren and Elwind? How expensive is Elwind? Okay, it's a little too expensive right now, Soren. Maybe next chapter we'll get you an Elwind if we get some money. Time to teach Mordecai memes. Oh no, chat. Oh no. You hope red-haired Pegasus girl returns soon. Oh, what chapter do we get Marsha in? We have set up everything so that Marsha can rejoin us, and I like Marsha. Um, let's see. Recruitment. I have Serena's Forest open for when I need it. 
Marcia is, uh... Oh, level nine. There you go. Yeah, I think we're good. Oh, I remember that character. Hmm. Oh, I forgot that there's a bunch of trial maps where you can use the enemies. Pegasus Knights are useful. Oh yeah, we also get a really, 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 really good uh, Draco Knight later on. He's fun. Alright, I think I said I was going to go to the next base. Our base is looking pretty good, and it is after 10 o'clock. Uh, last map wasn't so long. We spent a lot of times on conversation, but I don't mind that. So I guess thank you all very much for coming on by. I'm gonna... Did I say <laughs> The classic feeling. And, uh... I will see all of you on Friday for Ace Attorney again. So, thank you all. I hope you have a good rest of your night. Um... Oh, is any of my friends live? Can I raid from OBS? <laughs> Let's check real quick. Before I send you off to sleep. Mm. I think Saji is. Let's see. So if I just raid... How do I set this up? I've never done this before. You do it from Trish Creator Jasport. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I can open that. <laughs> I'm holding people extra minutes while I figure out how rating works. Oh god. Creator Dashford. Uh streaming tools? No. What section under creator dashboard is? You're gonna have to help me out here, mods. Stream manager. Quick actions. Raid channel, there it is. Uh, here we go, Aya's live. Let's go raid Aya. Aya's chill. She's lovely. She has some nice cats. Why don't we go, go hang out with her a bit? Here we go. You should all spam the Akechi laser eyes emote when we do it, though. <laughs> Alright, ten seconds. Let's do this, boys. <laughs> Raid now. Alright, we did it. <laughs> we can stop.